Let's take a couple of minutes and we'll show you how to change this background image on the Pioneer AVHX 5800 BHS. So to change the background image, we're going to touch the gears up here and we want to go to the, uh, the color palette and we have a number of choices here. We're going to start with the background. So the background here I have my choice between the home screen background and I have the AV screen background. So let's start with the home screen background and we have a number of factory presets to choose from here. And by the way you can change the color of these images as well. By going to the theme button here you can change the color of those background AV images. So we're back to background and when we slide over here we have the option to import our own image or we have the option to completely switch the image off. So for right now, let's go back here and we're going to choose uh, this image for our home background screen. And now let's go to the AV screen and we have a number of images to choose here as well. And we have a couple of motion images that we can use. And that would include a spectrum analyzer here too. If I turn the volume up just a little, you can see the spectrum analyzer operate. I can also import my own image and I can black out this screen if I choose to. So we'll go back to uh, this image right here for the AV screen. Now we're going to hit the X. Now I want to import my own images. So let's go to the USB uh, drive. And I have my USB installed on the USB extension here. We'll choose the USB source. And if we were on music here, all we have to do is go to our still images. There's the photos. Make sure your parking brake is engaged. The parking brake has to be engaged in order to see the still images. So we want to choose this image to download onto my background. So I'm going to touch the download button over here. Now I can set this as my AV screen or I can set it as the home screen or I can set it as both. I can only download one image. So I'm going to choose to set this as my AV screen. And that's going to save that into the memory. Be sure to not turn off your vehicle while this is saving. All right, the image is saved. So now we can touch the home button and we see the home background image is there. If I go to an AV source like HD radio, that is the image that we saved there. So let's go back to our color palette here and we'll go back to the background. And if I want, I can change the home background to the same thing by selecting the downloaded image. That'll make them the same image, but you can't have two different ones. So we'll go back up. And if I hit the home button, there's the image there. If I choose an AV source like HD radio, there's the image there.